All right, guys, is we're back in here. Me and Keith titled a bunch of Rebar Monday, and we're actually gonna maybe gain a day back. Out of We lost almost a month to this permit pulling process, so we're actually trying to make up for lost time. We just started the footings on Friday. Monday, I didn't have a crew, so me and Keith tied Rebar. Boys came back in today. It's Tuesday right now, October 1st, and we have concrete coming in about an hour. So we have about 45 yards of footing concrete coming in. We brought it out at a five slump. I'm only gonna be able to shoot little bits and pieces of the actual pouring processes, cause me and Keith and then three Amish guys and I'll keep them out of the camera. But I'll take you guys around real quick, show you a kind of finished product before things get real. You can see how we form up our steps with a fast foot. Like I said, there's a piece that goes right here, kind of loops in. These are 16 inch deep steps. Now you'll see in the detail here, it's kind of weird. We've used steel to make our bins, and then we used gator bar. Funny thing is, um, the municipalities are all different about fiberglass. Most of them are very enthusiastic about it. It's a very nice product, um, but they want to know every brand and manufacturer and all the data on it. So MST is our preferred bar because it's, uh, it's got more of an epoxy coating. It's textured, so it's a little more shaped like you know steel rebar it, it it has a shape that will hold in the concrete the gator bar is kind of a sand covered fiberglass that gets a little it's, it's a lot more itchy now they are revamping that i've heard it's going to have a lot more epoxy on it so maybe soon it will uh it will be similar to mst but they couldn't tell me on the phone the other day if mst was approved they thought it was but without showing them the paperwork and giving them multiple days to be sure i was kind of uh unable to use it and pass my inspection today given that we're already maybe a month behind on the schedule i didn't want to wait so i used gator bar because they enthusiastically support gator and uh it'll work now i'm going to use mst for the rest of it because i have time to get them the paperwork Plus, one of the weird things in this county is they don't inspect the walls. On foundations, they, expect, they inspect the footing, and there is no inspection after the footing until rough in. Meaning, I'll have the roof, windows, everything on ready for drywall, electrical, plumbing, HVAC will all be installed prior to the next inspection. Now, it's not quite true. On this house if you remember last week's video the patio grew which is why we have that weird ditch in the middle the patio the original drawn patio would have gone where this ditch is and obviously now it's it would have gone there now it's over there so what we're doing is this is 34 feet wide we're going to center a 20 foot by 40 foot ICF pool just a few feet beyond that going out toward the woods auto cover hydronic heat in the floor just like the house, and um, that's going to have its own permit. So they will be back out for that, but they will not be inspecting any more of the house until, um, nope, that's actually not true. There is a rough-in plumbing inspection, the subgrade plumbing, before we pour the walls. So that will take place. Um, because the walls are over 10 feet high, they will require a letter from an engineer, but that is, not relevant to the inspection. I just have to get an engineer to sign off and say that I follow Logic's Elements rebar schedule and they will be happy with it. So you can kind of see we put gravel in here. We kind of pre-staged a bunch of rock. That's just that much less rock that we will have to carry in. So saves steps. Every step we save saves money, saves time to win. Um, so we staged all we could inside the garage and inside the house, but we'll still need quite a lot more. Um, kind of a cool thing, I'll kind of give you a teaser here. The hydronic heat for the pool and the house, they are actually going to use the heat waste to heat it. They're gonna use the heat waste from Bitcoin mining computers. Uh, they produce a ton of heat, they're down in dielectric fluid, and that fluid has got a heat exchanger I don't even want to say any more than that because I don't know exactly what I'm talking about yet, but it's pretty freaking exciting to see how that works. The, uh, the math on it is pretty interesting as far as taking a heat that we normally have to pay 
to dissipate and use it in a, in a useful way, a very useful way. So anyway, guys, without further ado, I'm going to get to the pour. Enjoy um, and stay tuned. The next pour, I'm hoping the same week, this is Tuesday, if this goes well, tomorrow we'll form up to grade of our slab and we will pour that on Thursday. And then, uh, you know, we'll be off to the races after that to get the hydronic ready and we'll keep going vertical another 12 feet up. Okay, guys, it was a very hectic pour. Um, there was three Amish guys that are absolute horses and Keith and I. And normally I get to sit back and just kind of watch the boys do everything I taught them to do. But given that we could not get concrete before 2 p.m. and beyond the camera thing, they also don't really like to work late. They've all got chores and farms and cattle to take care of. So I've got to get them out usually pretty much on time. And uh, so I told the trucks to stack it up on us. So we had two trucks there and we were pouring in two separate parts of this pour almost the entire time. So I had to get dirty and I did not get to do as much filming and kind of, you know, watching and, you know, all that. So you can kind of see the consistency we're pouring at. The beauty of fast foot is that all of these rails are set by laser with screws exactly on grade. So, I mean, I'll kind of give a little bit of the next video away. We had hardly any shimming in almost 500 linear feet of wall. We set all of the logics the very next day after this pour, which is today. And it went all in, I had four guys set it basically in one day. And we're gonna pour those stem walls tomorrow and absolutely have an absolutely killer week. You see Keith doing a little vibrating here. It's the only time I actually had time to shoot it. It's kind of a crazy pour. All right, just over two hours. 44 and one half yards laid down on a footing. I think we got 10 steps, 20 some corners, two 30 degree, 30 degree bends. So tomorrow morning I'll set up the total station and give everything one last pinning and start throwing down uh, forms. First time ever with the elements block. We are all fired up. I think I'm fired up more than the boys, which is, that's well, probably normal. I get pretty excited. So it's gonna be awesome guys. And uh, this will probably be it for this video and I'll hit you with the, uh, the elements block in the next one.